Hello, yes, and this is, of course, this is Linux Mint Debian Edition, uh, la, 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 number six, Fay, of course, and this is the beta edition, so we're just going to boot it on up, we'll just do that, and off it'll go, uh, we're in VirtualBox, of course, hence why that bloody thing keeps on coming on up all the time, no way of switching that off. I hate VirtualBox. I ought to go for Virt Manager or something. Let me just uh, go up to full. Go back to there and come back up to full screen. There we are. Uh, I've like added my own thing to this. In actual fact, this is XFCE. Uh, I've got a command that in Slick Greeter it hides away cinnamon. Yeah, hides it away altogether, so you cannot go back on into Cinnamon again. So this is XFCE in Fay in Debian 12. Yeah, absolutely brilliant. Uh, it actually hides it away. I've got a little command, uh, Slick Greeter, it hides it away altogether. Absolutely fantastic. No problem at all. And what I love about Linux Mint is the fact they do not have snaps in at all which is fantastic really 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 good really good of them not to have them in even in their debian ones you can install them of course but uh they say no to them and i think that is absolutely fantastic there's not many operating systems on out there linux operating systems are on out there that do not support snaps. Yeah. That's what I am thankful for. Really. I mean, I I think that their way of thinking is absolutely fantastic because I do not like snaps myself. Mm. Now, the way that I done this, the way that I... Let me just take my headphones off there because I don't need them on. The way that I had done this is uh, from a little command that I've I got online off of YouTube, believe it or not. I've got it in here under Linux Notes. Uh, I just added it to this particular one. And it's this one here. Turning Mate into XFCE does the same in cinnamon as well which is absolutely brilliant which is just what you need basically it gets rid of it coming on up it hides it away altogether so that your main operating system will be xfce4 what you must remember though is to also during the installation not to just install that but you need to install xfce4 power manager okay you also need to install xfce4 whisker menu plugin okay now, I don't think it does come down with it. I don't think it does. No, it doesn't. Um, it doesn't come down with the screensaver, thank goodness, because that's just a waste of time. Unless, of course, you're using really old hardware where you need a screensaver. But uh, no, you don't. You don't need a screensaver, not really in this day and age. Um I've got a better lock screen anyway. I've got what I took off of uh, Arco Linux. I, I will have that in on here. Once I've got this, because I want to use this in as my daily drive eventually, which I could do right now if I really wanted to. Yes, this is a beta for the moment, but I reckon that it will get released in the next couple of weeks as they've just brought it on out as a beta. So it's meant to be coming on out, I think, soon, isn't it? You know, fully. 
Um, and also in December, of course, we've got some um, twenty-one point three to look forward to. So that'd be that'd be the best of both worlds, I hope. And of course, still based on twenty-two point zero four, it'll be. But that will be uh, that'll be good as well because we'll we'll be up to kernel six, hopefully then. So that'll be really, really, really good. But of course, next year, of course, next April will be the next one, which will be 24.04. I don't know what the Linux Mint team will be doing. All I know is that they're keeping an eye on Ubuntu at the moment, with, what they're, with all their shenanigans, and what they're doing with snap packages and stuff. I don't think it's going to be long before Ubuntu actually will... Uh, have a system where they're going to say bye-bye to Debian altogether and their whole system will be ran on snap packages only. That is my that is my uh, prediction. Yeah, that's the word. That's my prediction anyway. I, for one, hate snap packages. I my uh my history of Linux goes all the way on back to Ubuntu 10.4. Uh, Linux Mint Mate I used to run as well after they moved on over to the Unity desktop. After Ubuntu moved on over to the Unity desktop, which I didn't like. I didn't like the change. I just did not like it. Tried it. I just didn't like it. Too many keyboard shortcuts and as well what else. Just didn't like it. Did not like it at all, and I still don't like Ubuntu for the way that they look now. I don't understand it. Why can't I do loads of stuff on it? Why can't I customise the hell out of it? It's locked down. You're relying too much on these snap packages, and why call yourself a Debian-based system when in actual fact you're beginning to say goodbye to Debian packages. You haven't even got them in your new Ubuntu software center. Ah, uh, yeah, that's weird. I don't understand them, really don't, the, the way that they're going with it. So my history also goes on back to a Peppermint operating system when Mark Greaves was at the helm, and he said he hates snap packages simply and flat packs he hated as well and i do too and for the simple fact was that in the forums in the peppermint forums we hadn't we were inundated with people having problems with them and this is going back to 1604 days which was when snaps were like beta time i guess they were actually introduced in 1404, the latter end or latter part of 1404. Kind of like a beta type thing, but then they were fully beated on up in, in 1604. And I think that was during the middle of 1604. So it was then when people were trying all these snap packages and were coming on over to um, Peppermint OS and of course we had the choice for you to install snap packages as well as flat packs and people were moaning that stuff wasn't working all the dependencies for that particular um, piece of software to run were missing from the snap packages it wasn't in installing everything that it needed in order to bloody run it was like what the hell is going on Oh, God, and people were moaning at us. We didn't know what to do. We absolutely hated that. Hated it when people come on in. But we had to answer them. We're part of a forum. We had to answer them somehow. We had to, it may not have been the right answer, but we gave them alternatives. We A lot of them, we gave them alternatives. Look, here's the alternative dev file, which will have all of the dependencies that you need. Um, get and download that. Get this installed. Instead of using snap packages, uh, God, I mean, do you remember when Firefox came on over as a snap package? 
all the dependencies on there wasn't there. It just kept on crashing all the time. And it took Ubuntu a little while to actually get that fixed. Oh, I think it was down to Mozilla, actually, to fix it. I'm not sure. Or it was something missing that Ubuntu didn't pick up on. Don't know. Little grievances, you know, little grievances like that. And then, of course, back in, um, I think, uh, when 1804 came on out, someone had found malware inside the snap package. There was uh, someone had sneaked in some malware on in. Oh, God. You know, you don't need that. Don't need all this rubbish. Don't need these snap packages. All these flat packs. Flat packs, though, I must admit, are much, much, much better than snap packages. Simply because they have all the dependencies with them and they actually do work. They may take a little while to open. But not as long as snap packages do. Holy shit, they take for ages. I mean... Firefox is slow as a dev file. It's it's slow to open anyway. Remember, it's still using open source stuff. It hasn't got the um, it hasn't got uh, the dependencies like a Chrome, like a Chrome browser has, you know, or or um, uh, what's the other one? What's the other one? Uh, Brave browser, for instance. That's based on Chrome. Yeah but has got a lot of Mozilla stuff inside it. Yeah. Um, but for God's sake, you know, why... why uh, Don't get it. And I can see, like I say, I can see that Ubuntu will eventually go on and have their whole operating system, including throughout the whole of the file system as well, will be one massive snap package that's what it'll be running on snap packages and the whole lot the whole caboodle that would be absolute well it'd be an absolute nightmare i don't know how many people will pull up with that and then it'll bring ubuntu back to square one again uh, how they were way 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 on back when they first started when they when they first started on out, there'd be bugs and goodness knows what else. Still, anyway, they are the commands. This one here, these are the commands. Turning Mate into XFCE, it works in Cinnamon as well, and that's how I've done it here, in here. Now, the only gripe I've got, the only gripe I have got, and I've tried it out with all their theming as well, and it's not my icon theme. It's, uh, I don't know why. Got this weird white line going on down here. I'll get it in Arch as well. When I install Z in Arch, I get this weird white line going down one side. It's not my theme. I can prove to you it's not my theme. If I come Control F, come on down here and I'll open up something in here. I don't know. We'll just go see what we got. Yeah, we'll open up that in here. I don't get the white line down in here. Like you get in Debian. And you get in um, Arch as well. It's really weird. Very strange indeed. I'm just going to save that away. and I'll... Yeah, I'll just save this current file. That's all right. Oh, I can add this on over to to the main one and put it underneath this video. Anyway, that is it for me. That was just a quick, quick. I don't know. We got another update. Apply the update. I wish them make their mind up. Just have one of these. This is my second take of this video, so I just had one of these updates. What's going on? Maybe it didn't update properly. I don't know. Maybe it's just... Nope, it's nothing else. Okay. Maybe it was the last thing that didn't get installed. Maybe it was just... Nope, we need to install something else on top of that. Maybe that's what it was. Remember, this is still in beta form, so there's going to be a lot of um, updates. 
until they do the final ISO. Uh, yeah, so brilliant. Really, really good. So yeah, I'm going to use this as my daily drive once um, once it's fully released. So that'll be really good. Thank you very much for watching. That was just a very quick video. I don't know how long I've been on. I don't want to be on too long. You know what I mean? It's like you be on too long. People get fed up. People get fed up anyway. Uh, uh, yeah, no, no matter what. Uh, thank you very much for watching. That is it for me. Bye for now.